Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I finally got this um, window motor done. Turned out really nice. So here's the back. You have the on and off, and then you have this big pod adjustment right here. That's a 25 watt pod in there. Um, it goes up to 300 ohms. And then you got the light bulbs that are the primary resistance for arm. You got four circuits, uh, four windings, and then a trigger winding. Uh, you got this 15 inch fan and um, uh, inside the motor is actually an uh, inch and a half diameter round uh, by inch and a half wide um, neomagnet. It's got about 80 pounds of attraction force so you um, have to be careful to put things near it because as you can see it lines right up with pliers or whatever. So, although even this right here is stainless steel, and then it goes into regular steel down here, but this is all um, 304, and then the bolts are 3 16 and um, the screws are 3 16 shaft is 304, so it's all, you know, it helps with the magnetism to where it runs really smooth, and um, yeah, so... It's available at my store, kenergy.store, and then uh, if you don't want the motor, you just want a circuit, this is the exact same circuit. Um, just a single one has the light bulb already to go. Um, has one you know, 150 watt transistor, 200 volts. So these are pretty handy, doing experiments. Um, so this is what basically comes with the motor. You have the uh, 10 amp fuse, you have the black and red, you have the yellow. Um, this does not come with it so it's just going to go to here. Um, you have to remember that with this motor if this is not connected you are going to be replacing all these transistors. It's to be connected to a battery or a cap dump always has to be connected um, otherwise you'll burn it right off the bat. It only takes about 10 seconds to fry all of them. Um, it actually has some um, neo lights in the top on each circuit to help protect it for when that happens um, but yeah so let's fire it up so this is just like a stereo all the way so you want to back it off just a little bit and then turn it on and just give it a little kick and it will fire up and um, so we'll turn up to full speed so when you're at full speed uh, the lights are glowing that's full power 5.5 amps very, very strong. So 1830 RPMs. And even with trying to slow it down with your fingers, it's, it's just going to end up burning my fingers off. So quite powerful. Um, even at full power, at full amps, you're still, you're still dumping energy if you have a cap dump. Um, even without this, you can still charge a second battery. And then if you want the most efficient of the motor, you want to back this down until you get down to about 1.2 or so like that. You can really hear it, hear the frequency of it going. So, but yeah, I would definitely suggest the cap dump. Um, it just kind of converts those spikes into real energy to charge the batteries pretty good. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching.